Today we are going to go over Neo Geo CD emulation setup within RetroArch. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to need is RetroArch. If you don't already have it, head over to RetroArch.com and click on the download tab. From here, scroll down to the near bottom and click on Nightly Builds. Now my tutorials once again specialize in Windows. So if you are doing this on another platform, it might work. I just have no idea if the core is available or not. So again, Windows x86-64, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and download the RetroArch.7-zip. Now, if for whatever reason you download this, extract it, try to run it, it doesn't work, you can download this redistributable.7-zip here, extract that, run that, and you should be good to go. Now, before we get into RetroArch itself, there is one more file we are going to need, and that is the Neo Geo CD Universe BIOS. Now, normally I don't show you how to obtain BIOS files for these emulators since they are copyrighted materials. With the Universe BIOS for Neo Geo, though, it's kind of a fan-made thing that you can use to replace the official BIOS in your consoles, and it still works under emulation, so it's enough of a gray area that I feel okay showing it to you. And this way you don't have to dump your original Neo Geo BIOS, so it, yeah, just uh, head over to the Neo Geo CD Universe BIOS page, and then you can download version 3.3 for Neo Geo CD. Now that you have both of those downloaded, go ahead and get them extracted. Now that those are extracted, go ahead and open up your RetroArch folder. And by the way, make sure you have your RetroArch folder where you want to keep it before you run RetroArch for the first time because it will default all of its directories into itself, and if you end up moving it, nothing will work. If that ends up happening, just a quick example here for you. So open up RetroArch, it defaults all the directories to here. I move it, it doesn't work, my Neo Geo BIOS doesn't show up anymore, yada yada. You could delete the RetroArch.config to start from scratch. Okay, back to setup. So the first thing we're gonna do before we open up RetroArch is scroll to our system folder here. So open that up. Now create a new folder in it called Neo CD. Doesn't need to be cap or anything, just Neo CD. And then open up the Universe BIOS folder that you downloaded earlier. It's already properly named uni-biocd.rom. All you need to do is drag this into that new Neo CD folder like so. Now that that's placed, go ahead and open up RetroArch. And you can press F on your keyboard to go into full screen mode if you'd like. Now we're going to go to the online updater, core updater, and we're going to press right on the keyboard to go to the S's for SNK. And we are going to download SNK Neo Geo CD Neo CD. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and press backspace twice to get back to the main menu, and you can begin loading up your games. And there we go, Neo Geo CD boot screen with the Universe BIOS at the bottom. Thank you, Razula, for making this BIOS file for us. Now, the first time you start up a Neo Geo CD game, you're probably going to end up with a screen that looks like this if you're using the Universe BIOS, and that's perfectly fine. If you have a controller plugged in, you can hold down Select, and it will bring up your region chooser. So choose your region, so Japan, US, Europe, Brazil... So I'm in US, and then you can change the system type. So I haven't been able to get it to work under top load, but if I change it to CDZ, the game boots exactly how you would expect. So do be aware if you're using the Universe BIOS, you will need to hold in the select button to go to that region menu to change those settings. Now, as far as Neo Geo CD is concerned, there's not a whole lot more setup to do here, so we're just going to go over everything that you can do within the emulator options as well. So if you press F1 on your keyboard, or if you have a controller plugged in that has a guide button, press that and you'll bring you to the RetroArch Quick Menu. From here, you can scroll down to the Options screen. And from here, you can change your console regions. If you have multiple Neo Geo BIOS files installed in your system folder, you can change it here. I don't know if there's a reason to have more than the Universe BIOS personally. I mean, I only have one Neo Geo CD game, so I have no idea about the compatibility with games. But, I mean, this is meant for real consoles to run the entire library and have it be region free. So I imagine this is kind of your one-stop shop here. Next up is the CD speed hack. Definitely leave this on because Neo Geo CD games have the most notorious load times in all of history. Like, they're so bad. CD speed hack on, skip CD loading on, 
Absolutely. Save yourself so much time by having these on. I'm not sure if there are any incompatibilities by having them on, but if you have a game that breaks, you can try turning them off and see if that helps, but it works for Metal Slug too, and that's the only game I own, so I'm gonna leave them on. And then next up is the per game saves. I recommend turning this on if you have a larger Neo Geo CD library. That way you have a separate save file for all your Neo Geo CD games. You don't have to worry about running out of space in the emulated storage. Just note, if you do turn this on, it will restart your game. So turn it on before you actually start playing anything. That way you don't lose any progress. But that pretty much covers it as far as setup goes. Pretty simple this time around, you just need to get that Universe BIOS for the Neo Geo CD, put it in your Neo CD folder in your RetroArch System folder, and you are good to go after you get that core downloaded. Just remember that you might need to hold the select button on your controller to change your Universe BIOS settings. And that's really one of the biggest pitfalls I see with this emulation that some of you might have, is that you don't change that Universe BIOS setting, so please make sure to change that. Anyways, let's go over how to set up a playlist for your Neo Geo CD games real quick, so that way you don't have to keep using the content browser. So from the RetroArch main menu, you can press F5 on your keyboard or click on the Show Desktop Menu button here, and that will bring up the RetroArch Quick Menu, so just go ahead and press OK. And now one of the great things about the RetroArch Quick Menu, you can use it to debug if your BIOS files are being detected or not. So I have my Universe BIOS there showing up in green. Good. Anyway, over here, right click, New Playlist, SNK. Space dash space, Neo Geo CD. And that gives us a nice Neo Geo CD playlist here, complete with Neo Geo CD console. Select that, right click over here, add files. Scroll to where your Neo Geo CD games are stored. I have them on my desktop, once again, for demonstration purposes. And now Neo Geo CD games can have multiple bin files. So you are going to want to select the Q file to read all of them. Core, Neo CD, Database, Neo Geo CD. Okay. If you don't have very many Neo Geo CD games, the add files works really well. If you do have a ton, you can use the add folder method, but make sure when you select your game folder that you type in .q in the extension here for filtering, because if you don't, it will add every single one of those bin files to your playlist, and trust me, you do not want that. Now, if you'd like to further pretty up this playlist, you can always right click on the playlist entry here, download all thumbnails, this playlist. Now, games do need to be named a specific way for the images to be downloaded. Metal Slug 2 for me is not, so it didn't download anything here. So what I like to do in that case is head over to GameFAQs, find the game in question for the console in question, and head over to the media section here, because there are a bunch of wonderful user uploaded images, including box arts, and they're usually in pretty good quality. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this. And now that I have it downloaded, I'm going to make sure I have Metal Slug 2 selected in my playlist, and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag it over to the box art section over here, and now it has a box art whenever I select it. Yay! Now to get this playlist to show up within RetroArch, we're just going to close down RetroArch here and open it back up. Now over on the left hand side of the screen we have a wonderful Neo Geo CD playlist entry complete with the arcade stick here. Looks awesome. And then when we select it we see our game entry and cover art. And then of course to run it you just click on it and hit run. And that's going to do it as far as Neo Geo CD setup is concerned. Again, that Universe BIOS is readily available and should make this a pretty easy core to get set up for most of you out there that want to run Neo Geo CD games on your computer. As far as the Neo Geo CD compatibility is concerned, I think it's pretty good. From what I saw, it's pretty good. There are a few games that don't run 100%, but for the most part, the major titles are covered and run well. Again, I only have Metal Slug 2 to test with, and it runs okay, so... I mean, I can't really say what your game library will hold in store for you, but... It seems like a pretty decent emulator, so you should be able to run most things. But that's going to do it for today, so as always, thank you so much for watching these tutorials. I can't express enough gratitude for how much it really helps grow the channel, so thank you all so much for that. Again, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. I will do my best to try to help you out. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that sub button, that like-dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you'd like to further help support the channel and keep content like this coming your way, be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. As always, I am just grateful for your consideration. 
And for all of my champions who have already done so, I can never express enough gratitude to each and every one of you. It really helps so much, and I'm just so grateful to you for it. So thank you again. But anyway, until next time, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.